Good afternoon. Okay, so um, I have a question. It's, um, I don't know how to explain it, but I'll try my best. I'm very good. Um, since it's second service, I have yeah. this question. And Is it pertaining to this yes, teaching? you mentioned something just now. You said um, when you got married, you couldn't really express yourself. Yeah. And I tell myself I'm very expressive. I... I'm very expressive, very, very expressive, and I can also keep to myself. But one question I have is, I tend to encourage a lot of persons around me. Like, I can see you that you are down, I'll boost you up. But I cannot boost myself. In January, I got an instruction, no, February, I got, in, just, I was doing something, career-wise, I got an instruction to do something. Do you love yourself? Yes, I think so. <laughs> Why do you think so? Um, I do. I, I, I do love myself. I agree. Why do you think so? Why do I love myself? Okay, I, I tell myself I'm a really smart person. Good. Um, I'm quite intelligent. Why do you I, fidget sometimes? Sometimes I, I lose confidence. Why do you lose confidence? I have had some really bad feedbacks from persons that matter. But they, the feedbacks are actually wrong. I know they are wrong, but for the fact that um, it keeps coming, not like, they re eventually realize that it's wrong, but they don't um, adjust. Like, they know that it's wrong. Like, they see that, okay, what they said was wrong, but they don't really adjust to it. How does that affect you? Like, um, okay, one thing I tell myself is, one thing that comes to mind is that, why do they, like, why do you always have to do this first? And when you realize that... The opinions of people really matter to you, right? Yes, a lot, actually. I can tell. A lot. Why does it matter to you? I really don't know. I've, I've, I grew up not liking my name. But I thought you said like yourself. Yeah, no, like, I grew up, like... Is it, only your like name, is it only your name you don't like? No, I grew up not liking anything about me. Okay. But eventually, I got to understand God's love. You, you, you can see yeah. you can see how I'm able to draw the patterns. I grew up, I, when I began to understand the love of God for my life, I began to see the things that he has laid in my hands. And I began to love my name. My name is Adil Dohi, by the way. And Why didn't you love your name? Okay, that time was a very flimsy excuse. There was a Magi that was doing, that was really terrible in the market. It was really terrible. So everybody that saw me would call me Dohi Magi. So that's why I used to tell, I used to tell people not to call my name short anymore. Like, call me Ade Dohi because there's a meaning to the Ade So they called the Dohi Magi that was bad? Yes, that was the beginning. Hold on. Do you agree that the Dohi Magi was bad? No, that's your opinion. Give your friend the microphone. Give, give your friend the microphone. What, what, what do you think about doing, Maggie? I mean, I just think it was bad. I like what do you think? You like this, right? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Back to you. Yeah, continue. Okay, so um, at that point, like everybody in my, my siblings are really very good looking. Very, very good looking. If you see my siblings, you know that they're very... So everybody around me will be like... My friends will be like, Mo, you're the ugliest in your family. <laughs> who, who, who say that? My friends. Like, okay. I, I have friends like that. You're like, oh, man, you're the ugliest in your family. Still today, they still say it today. But it doesn't really bother me. It, it, it really, really bothers you. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't, don't consult anybody. It, I'm telling you. Let me tell you, everything you said is what I know from you talking for one minute. I could tell as you began to talk for one minute because I could see it unfold. I could see it unfold. So, so I think, so your first question was what? We'll come back to it because it all comes back together. Okay, so my first question is how do I, I self-doubt on what I can do. Like I've heard people That's tell good. Me, you self-doubt. The reason why you solve that is that there's no self-love. You don't really like you. That's why you fidget. That's why I say, why do you fidget? 
Because you're not comfortable as you. You want to be in somebody else's skin if you had the choice. If, if of course, it, it may not be 100%. But if you had the choice. So, you, you want to be 20% of that person, 30% of that person, 40% of this person, 20% of this person. But the ultimate thing that you are you. And you know why you don't like you? Because you've been told several things about you that you have believed. And because you've also suffered rejection, yes or no? Yes. Yeah, you love acceptance. Yes. So the opinion of people matter a lot to you. So you're a people pleaser. So you can encourage other people, you can encourage yourself. Because even when you encourage them, you love to please people. Not as if you love to serve them, but pleasing them gives you meaning. Even when they abuse you. So there's something about you. Someone say, I can encourage other people. It's a fact that you enjoy that. You derive value from that. True. Exactly. So the reason why I can encourage yourself is that you value others more than you. You value other people more than you. So let me tell you what you normally do. You will do more for others than yourself. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Typical example of people that people please us. They will do more for other people than themselves. They will make themselves cry so that people can be happy. And how do you feel about that? Because, because you just really want them to accept you and accept you. It's not worth it. Yes, I would not say that I, I do it exactly to make people accept me. I... One thing I really enjoy doing. I'm never sure you understand why you do it. No, the reason why is that I want you to think a lot. Because some, some of these things is not what you think like, I'm going to do this right now. It's intrinsic. It's right there inside. You just find yourself doing it without knowing. For example, as a younger pastor, I finally had to say no to people. People forced their will on me. As I grew up, I had to learn to say no to people. So people like someone said to me, can I see you tomorrow? I said tomorrow I don't see anybody. I sleep. So to really, you feel bad. See, you don't understand. I need to stay alive for you. But there was a time I couldn't, there was a time in my life I couldn't do that. So right now, I'm very protective of the time and this and this and this. Because ladies and gentlemen, as much as you love me, if something happens to me, you find in that church. Is that not true? That's the truth. No, that's what you will say right now. That's the truth. The reason why I'm saying so is that a lot of people, so if you grew up from a place where you were neglected with attention when you were young, where you looked for your father and your mother's love, most of the time when you grow up, you were left alone by yourself, you, you will be a natural people pleaser. Naturally pleasing people. And the reason why is that it's the inner child wound you have that is looking for healing. 